here I have a DOS screen. I'm going to key in DIR of F star dot C. And there are two files over here. One called file one calls file two dot C and the other one F twenty two dot C. These guys are uh, these guys go together. Let's take a look at the first one, F one C F. File one calls file two. Let's look at that one first. I key in notepad file one calls file two dot c and I hit enter. Immediately this guy pops up on the screen. Pound include the standard io.h. This is the header file. It must be at the top of my file. I'm going to declare a function that I'm going to be calling. It will, it will uh, return nothing and it will, the name of it is hi and it will accept nothing. It doesn't expect to be passed any any parameters. Semicolon. Now I declare my main function, int main void. So it's going to return something, so I have to have a return an integer, so I have to return zero to the operating system. And then main is the name of the function, main function, and it will expect nothing to be passed to it. It is enclosed within curlies and it will just call the function called hi, which I declared up here. Semicolon. Then I return zero. That is all that main does. It's going to call this function, which I've declared here. Hmm. How will it know where that function is? Called hi because it's in a different file. Let's find out. But first I can notepad f22.c, that's where the high function is located. That's where it is stored. Let's take a look at that file. And here is that file now, f22.c. Pound includes standard io.h and then void high void. It will return nothing. Its name is high, and it will expect nothing to be passed to it. It's enclosed within curlies, and here's the one statement, printf statement, within quotes, high from file number two, and a carriage term line feed. And there's my semicolon that terminates the statement. This will get called and print this out. That's all this does. Okay, let's continue now and answer the question, how do these two know about each other? <coughs> this is how we do it. I'm going to call the comp compiler G++. And I'm going to tell, this, tell the compiler, listen, compiler, I've got a file called F1 who calls F2.c. And I have another file, F22.c. Those are my key guys. Dash O. I want to call them hi dot exe. Compile and link those two up together, and then the output file will be called hi dot exe. I'm going to hit enter, and it's done. Well, let's see if it's here. Dir of hi dot exe, and there he is, right there. Wow. Now, if I run him right now, my my uh, antivirus is going to have a fit, so I'm going to temporarily shut that off for a second. Here we go. Okay, I just shut him off for 10 minutes. Let's uh, key this in. I'm going to uh, run the program now. Hi.exe. And hit enter. And ooh la la, there it is. Hi from file 2. This worked. So we compiled and linked two separate files, source files, into an executable file using the MinGW compiler, which stands for Minimalist GNU for Windows. 
This is George Bull. Thanks so much for listening. Please rate the video by cl clicking on the like button. I'd appreciate that. And good luck.